how it's Maxell from Cabal, and I'm sure we've yawned more than once today and do it on a regular basis. But have you ever thought what yawning is for? American scientists argue that yawning is not only a symptom of boredom and drowsiness, but also a process to regulate brain temperature. According to the psychology professor Andrew Gallup, the human brain resembles a computer. Overheating it causes a yawn, which provides an influx of blood and cold air, and the result of that is improved brain functioning. Besides, it's directly related to drowsiness. Your brain is tired, overheated, it needs to rest. You yawn and lower the temperature. Are you yawning? <sighs> now you'll be able to get yourself off the hook. You're cooling your brain. In fact, if our brain was a computer, then most likely it'd be a very powerful one and would run all the games. But what if our life is already a computer game? Gallup conducted an experiment and found that under normal conditions, about 48% of people feel the urge to yawn. But when the participants were put a cold compress on their foreheads, this amount decreased to 9%. And have you had to yawn because someone else yawned next to you? I bet everyone had such situations. This phenomenon is known as contagious yawning, and despite the fact that scientists haven't yet figured out its origin, there are several hypotheses that try to explain it. Among the most likely causes, there are two physiological and one psychological. The first physiological hypothesis suggests that a contagious yawn is an established pattern of action. It works simultaneously as a reflex and a domino effect. Someone else's yawn makes another person do the same or happen to become an accidental witness to this action. Another physiological reason is known as the chameleon effect and is based on an unintentional imitation of someone else's behavior. People tend to borrow gestures, poses, and even words from each other. Have you ever noticed that your friends use some of your signature things? but no need to reproach them for that. Maybe they even do it unconsciously. Most likely this happens because of a special set of mirror neurons that copy other people's actions and are extremely important for learning and self-awareness, helping to adapt. MRI show that when we see or hear someone else's yawn, our mirror neurons fire. For the record, mirror neurons are special brain cells that were discovered by the Italian neurophysiologist Giacomo Rizzolatti in 1990 in monkeys and later discovered in humans. They work not only during the execution of some action, but also when we see, think, or do the same as our environment. In other words, they allow you to mirror the behavior of another person and thus understand them. The psychological reason is also based on mirror neurons and is called an empathy yawn. Empathy is the ability to understand and share other people's emotions, and it's very important for a human. Recently, neurologists have discovered that mirror neurons allow us to experience empathy on a deeper level. A study was conducted with the help of which scientists trying to find out whether dogs would mirror the sound of a human yawn. It turned out that dogs are more likely to respond to the familiar yawns of their owners. She yawns and he yawns because he's feeling empathize, and that's why they find human yawns contagious. Yes! We did it! Subsequent studies with people also confirmed that mirror yawns are more common among friends. Try any next to your friends, most likely they will yawn too, which is funny. What if your friends won't? Then it means they're not your friends! Remarkably, usually when you yawn in public you cover your mouth with your hand, because it's etiquette. It's indecent to show your pie hole to everyone. Look what fans I have. Well, we're feelings. But there is another version of where this trend to cover your mouth with your hand when yawning came from. Dr. Oliver Walazinski found out that in ancient India it was believed that when you yawn, an evil spirit can enter through your mouth. And even this is not the worst. Your soul can come out, that's why they covered their mouth with their hand. I hope the evil spirits didn't know about the other holes in the human body. And also when I yawn my stomach out, tears stream out. Put a like if you have the same thing. In fact, not all people can boast of such a superpower. The most useless superpower. Whenever you yawn, everyone around be like, why are you crying? But in essence, it all depends on the weakness of the lacrimal glands. During a yawn, facial muscles pressed on this very glands, causing the release of tears. Yawn so well that they even cried. I can bet that by this point you've already yawned once or twice. Not because it's boring, I've just been talking about yawning and showing you people and pets yawn, so it must have had an effect. It's not boring, is it? Mm -hmm. Everyone's asleep. Ooh. 
I've yawned, now it's your turn. I passed the baton. Write down below how many times you've yawned. This video could get a record number of yawns. It's been maxed out from Cabal. Bye everyone. Wait, did I just make you yawn this whole video?